Fish Variety. I'm Pamela or Pam if you're new here and if you are new please consider subscribing to my channel. Today's content was requested by a viewer. I'm going to be showing you my eBay sales from last year. I have sold part-time on and off on eBay since 2010. I'm going to be showing you a mix of items including clothing, accessories, and some jewelry. The first items that I'm going to show you guys, I really can't say what I paid for them. They came from my closet clean out. Often I will buy things and end up never wearing it, or I'll have clothing that I'll wear a couple of times and for whatever reason decide that I don't really like it. So I decided to do a major closet clean out. I had a lot of really nice clothes. Some of them had never been worn and I listed those items on eBay. So on those items, which I'm going to show you first, I can't really give you a cost that I spent on them. I also will be showing you a few items that came from a very dear friend's closet clean out. She offered me those items to go through to see if there were any I wanted to sell on eBay. And a few of those items did sell for me. I'll also be showing you some items that I thrifted. And on those items, I will give you the cost that I paid for them. And I'll be showing some jewelry items. First up, I have four pairs of shorts that came out of my closet. These I believe I bought on sale and ended up never wearing them. I listed them as a lot and they sold for $20. Another item that I never wore was this Chico's blouse. It was really oddly made. It fit too big in some areas and too tight in others. I listed this one and it sold for $15. This is a very pretty blouse that I wore a few times. It is a sheer Chico's tunic. I listed this one and it ended up selling for $12. Another blouse I wore a few times is this Chico's t-shirt. I listed this one and it ended up selling for $7.20. This is a top by Roz and Allie. And when I purchased this, I loved it. Ended up never wearing it. Listed this one and it sold for $8. This is a blouse that I wore quite a few times. I really liked it, but had not worn it in probably about a year. I ended up listing this one and it sold for $12. Another Chico's blouse that was really a favorite of mine that I hadn't worn in quite some time. And this one I listed and it ended up selling for $9.50. This is another Chico's top that I absolutely loved. And I ordered this one online. The problem with this top is it didn't fit right. It was a little too tight across the chest. I'm not sure why I didn't send this one back, but either way, I ended up listing this one and it sold for $12. Another Chico's top, and this one, I'm pretty sure I wore this a few times. It just wasn't one of my favorites. I didn't really think this top would sell. I listed it for around maybe $6. It had multiple bids and ended up selling for $15.50. These Clark shoes were really comfortable. I wore them quite a few times, so I took plenty of photos to add to the listing. I always advise doing that so the buyer can see if there's any wear on the item. I listed these for $6, and they ended up selling for $6.50. Another Chico's blouse that I only wore, I think, maybe once or twice. This one I listed for around $7 and it ended up selling for $9.50. This New Direction sweater was slightly oversized. It was really loose and bulky. Couldn't keep it up on my shoulders. It was a Christmas gift, but because I'd never worn it, I decided to go ahead and list it. And this one ended up selling for $8.50. This is one of the items from my friend. It is a men's sweater. I'm assuming it belonged to her husband. This is a golf sweater. I listed this one and it sold for $7.50. Another item from my friend's closet is this Old Navy ribbed women's sweater. I listed this one and this one ended up selling for $7.00. All of these sweaters were George brand. She purchased these. She had never worn them. I decided to list these together as a lot and they sold for $12. I'm just going to give you guys a quick breakdown so far. All of these items were buyer pay shipping and the items from my closet, I ended up making $135.70. 
The items that came from my friend's closet, I ended up making $26.50. So not bad for items neither of us wore anymore. And probably a good idea for the rest of you, if you have clothing that you're cleaning out of your closet, try listing it on eBay. You never know, it just might sell. Now let's get to the thrifted items and then I'll show you the jewelry that sold for me. When I go to thrift stores, a lot of my smaller local thrift stores, they have a dollar rack or last chance items that are a dollar. They also have certain days that certain colors are half price. So I always look at those items first. This is a women's Chico three quarter sleeve sheer blouse. I thrifted this item for $4 and it ended up selling for $9.99. I thrifted this brown suede Gap purse for $5 and it ended up selling for $15. This is a lightweight Chico's jacket. I thrifted this one for $4 and as you can see, it ended up selling for $12.50. These Sugar Skull Crocs were a great item. They looked as though they had never been worn. I thrifted these for $5 and they ended up selling for $15. This JM tunic top is just a really beautiful blouse. I thrifted this one for $4 and it ended up selling for $12.99. This colorful women's sweater looked brand new and I got this off the dollar rack. So I thrifted this one for a dollar and it sold for $8.50. Another item that I thrifted for just $1 off of the final chance rack at my local thrift store, and this one ended up selling for $12.50. These American Eagle Ballerina flats were gently worn. I thrifted these for $3.50, and these ended up selling for $10. Another really pretty blouse was this George Brand tunic. I thrifted this one for $3, and it ended up selling for $9.99. These Brighton sandals were a great thrift store find. They were in excellent condition. I paid $8 for these and they ended up selling for $29.99. This was another last chance item on the $1 rack, and I was very hesitant about purchasing this. I decided to go ahead and buy it. If it didn't sell, I could always re-donate it. It did relist a few times, but it finally ended up selling for $7. Once again, another dollar item, and this one was a Chico's elbow length short sleeve top. This one sold for $8, and in case I didn't mention it, all of these items were buyer pay shipping. Another Chico's top that I also thrifted for $1, and this one ended up selling for $8.50. I thought this was a really cool item. I did show it in content sometime last year. It is a vintage stretchy belt. It has these large faux coins on it with Queen Elizabeth. I thrifted this one for $1 and it ended up selling for $7.99. So to give you guys a quick breakdown of what I thrifted and how much I made selling it on eBay, it came to $126.45. Now I'm going to show you my jewelry sales and just a quick word when it comes to jewelry, jewelry is not really selling well for me. I've had a lot of luck selling clothing, especially Chico's brand and larger sizes. So those are things to be on the lookout for. As for jewelry, I feel like it's really oversaturated right now on eBay. There are so many people that have gotten into selling jewelry. A lot of people are doing the Goodwill Blue Boxes or the American Thrift Boxes. It's not really a great time to sell jewelry. I have sold a few pieces and I'm going to show those to you now. I bought this gold tone Napier necklace at an antique store and I looked up on this one. I ended up only paying a dollar for it and this one sold for $10.50. 
This is an Elizabeth Taylor for Avon faux jade statement necklace, and I found this at one of my local thrift stores. I paid $8 for it, and it had multiple bids on it. It ended up selling for $41. Another local thrift store find was this beautiful vintage necklace. It has glass beads and rhinestones. I paid $350 for the necklace and another $350 for the earrings. I ended up selling these together as a set for $14.99. This vintage Hobe Demi Perure came in a large estate lot. So I really can't give you a price that I paid on it because there were a lot of items in that lot. Some of them I sold on my channel in a subscriber appreciation sale. There were a couple that I opted to keep for my own personal collection. But I did want to show this one. I listed this for $65. I received an offer on it and I ended up taking the best offer because this one had been listed and relisted for quite a while. So I ended up selling this one for $45. This beautiful gold tone necklace and earring set came out of a jewelry jar. And I'm surprised that this one wasn't signed, but it was an unsigned piece. I had already made all of my money back on that jewelry jar, so this one was pure profit. I listed this one and it sold for $30. These silver tone necklaces, they came from the same jewelry jar. I decided to lot them together and these sold for $9.99. The necklace and bracelet that you see here came from my personal collection. I have slowly been downsizing and selling pieces that I no longer wear. I did at one time or the other wear these two pieces and I decided to lot them together. Amazingly, I do remember what I paid for them. The necklace was $8 and I paid around a dollar for the bracelet. I decided to list these and they ended up selling for $20. I'm going to do another breakdown for you guys. My total sales for jewelry was $146.48. The total for all of these items, I ended up making $435.15. You guys let me know in the comments, do you like the way I broke this into categories and broke down the sales for each category? Or would you prefer that I just show a total at the end? If you guys enjoyed this content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more content showing my eBay sales and profits, let me know in the comments. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.